Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on tools and utilities. In today's tutorial we are going to see one of the interesting tools and that tool is nothing but KDIF3. So what is this tool? This tool is used to compare the files. So this will compare like mostly the text files. Also it compares the folders or the directories in your system. So if you want to download the KDIF3 down software, it's a free version so anyone can download it. No special license is required. So you can go to the KDIF uh, sourceforce.net and from there you can download or you can use any other website to download this tool. Once it is downloaded, for example if you download for the windows, you will get the exe file. So you have to just uh, there are only three or four steps to install just next uh, next and accept the, the terms and you can ready to use it once it is installed and if you open you will get this kind of pop-up so what this pop-up is saying so at the top you will see the menu bar where the, we have the file edit directory movements diff view merge window settings and help and on the top of you will get the one dialog box or the pop-up so normally if you want to compare or if you use any other compare tool you might have used or you have compared only two files or two directories but not the three but this kdiff3 tool actually help us to compare more than two files that is minimum it can compare the three files also it can compare minimum three directories not only comparison even this tool helps to merge those two or three files with each other so that is very interesting feature about this tool this is very easy to understand and anyone can use to compare files why means why we need this tool now assume that you are migrating your code from one environment to other for example from development environment to testing environment or from testing environment to production environment so we have to set environment related properties in each file and then we have to compare whether the properties are set or not that is the one usage also if on the same file multiple people are working and we have to sync the our files so in that case we have to first compare and then we have to sync it or then we have to merge it so there are multiple scenarios where we have to compare the files there are in market there are so many tools available such as you can use eclipse tool the compare file or there is compare to to tool is there so there are so many tools but this is what i personally prefer to compare the files so how this tool works we'll see shortly in order to compare the files i have created two files actually three files let me open the the kdiff1 kdiff2 and kdiff3 so these are the three files so in the first file I just wrote welcome it is very first line and the final statement you can notice there are some case sensitive information will be there some extra characters so then we have the second file which says welcome but the welcome word is not correctly typed it is very first line I added some extra character final statement I made first letter as a uppercase in the file 3 I just misspelled the welcome some this is very common mistakes happen while writing the code and this is totally uh, we miss while comparing by by no, normal eyes so it's always good to use some comparison tool particularly with the properties file when we want to compare we should use this kind of tools to have a better uh, view or better view of uh, knowledge or better comparison of the two or more than two files then we have it is very first line and then just one dot in the final statement so we are going to compare these files and we'll see how it works so let's <coughs> excuse me so let's choose first file let's me copy the path for this directory Let me choose the first file and the second file. We'll first compare just two files and then we'll compare three files and then directory. 
let's click ok once you select this file just click ok and it will show us a detailed view about the, how these files are led or how these differences are led if you see the, on the first line you can see the C is extra on the second line it shows the two dots are extra with a different color this color is also we can customize it's not necessary this is the final color you can you can change your color uh, the look or the under underlying logic or how it should be if you want this color letters in the red or this highlighted in the red that can be doable then the F you can see that's different here it's a small case and here it is upper case so it shows clearly what are the differences now if, if you want to see more let's you have to just click file and open and you can use the third file too and let's see how it looks in this file set in the comparison this is very interesting this is the file 1 file 2 and file 3 in the file 1 compared to file 1 and file 2 the sequence of words is different between the 1 2 and 3 you see the the again the letters are different or the sequence is different on the line 2 you can see the additional two dots and there is one dot so the blue dot if you see this is the addition on the line 2 uh, a file 2 and file 3 the first dot is addition between all all of three and the if you see on the first line uh, on the first file and the second file the first letter is uppercase and the same with the case with the file 1 and file 3 in file 2 and file 3 there is no differences except one and that is dot which is mentioned in the red so here this the sequence is if the red dot means this file this content does not find in all of these files means only found only one file blue means it finds in more than one file so blue is found in this line also in this line so as i said red means it is find in the only two files uh, sorry red means it is just find only one so see at the fourth location only find first and two l and c if you see this c is considered as a found for the come and but the c for the fourth location this is just found in this file and the same with c which is third location here which is not found any of this file so this is the meaning of the colors but we can change that meaning of color there are some settings to do but by looking at very first you just that you will be able to understand what are the changes in all these files now let's go in some setting so this is the setting you have to go to the setting section and the configure if you want to choose any particular font you can choose the font like this and if you want to choose color so you can choose there are some background color and etc color configuration is there if you want to change editor size uh, some different uh, different differences um, for configuration such as ignore numbers or ignore case etc then the merge setting what you want to configure for the merge setting directory related because we are going to come back directories also what are the configuration we need to require regional setting etc and integration so these are the settings you can do so so you can see the words become more uh, sizes become more than earlier now we are going to compare the folders so i hope you got the idea how to compare the files let's compare the folders click on the open now instead of the files we'll choose the directories so in order to do that i'm going to use my c directory we'll go to the m5 mdm and we'll choose cleanse as one directory the second directory also not clean but similar like that which has some common files so I will choose this select directory and I will just let me make it modify and sh now we are going to compare the folders let's see so now this tool is comparing the two folders and it gives some summary of the report what are the folders found what are the directories found what are the uh, what are the files which are present in one directory but not present in the other directory 
right, cut close. Maybe some memory should let me open again. So we are going hub and cleanse, select, just server and select, and let's compare. So this is actually loading. So if you notice, A means like directory one, B means directory two, C means directory three, which you want to compare, and it will give the detailed report. What are the match found? So these are the report. I was talking number of subdirectories are 365, number of equal files 633, different file like 6966. So it gives summary of the report. Now let's see one of the thing. So this is the resources folder. If you see, uh, A means cleans folder, B means server folder. The black means this active host dot model dot jar does not found in the A, but it found in the B. So similarly cleans same as cleans is found in the cleans folder but not in the server folder. So this is the meaning of this. In the logs folder, if you see, these are the logs found here, uh, uh, found in the B but not in the A. Uh, let me show you some folder which shows both the things. Maybe this would be good. So yeah, so this license file found in the both the folders and it is same. If it's different color, that means there are some differences. Like here, so patch install setup pad is found in the both the folders A and B, but there are some differences. So how you want to merge? Whether you want to merge B into A, or do you want to merge these two folders or not, or you want to merge A into B? So those are the things available to work out. But this will give us idea if you compare the similar kind of structure. If because server and the cleans these two folders are very distinct with itself so you are seeing more differences but normally comparing the folder structure on the same server like production or the UAT or the testing or the QA environment it helps us to understand what are the folders missing what are the folders we need to add etc now let's go and see how to merge the records in order to merge let's use um, our files I'll go, I will merge 1 and 2 let's see how it works I'll use 1 and in the 2 I'll use 2 and let's see click OK now I, 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 I can see the files so uh, there are some differences so I, it looks like the file 1 is more appropriate for the first and second statement and third statement it is the second file is correct. So let's do and merge. So there is merge option and it says total number of conflicts are 2, number of unresolved conflicts are 2. So this is what the difference it is showing. I will say merge line lines from A to B it is got corrected and got second uh, it got the second change and then i'll do the merge lines from b so that the first become correct and save it now where it will save so it is saying this is the location it will save so i'll just modify this let me see So now you can see that it's saved as a four file. But let me save as a text file that will be more easy to readable. Now I saved as a kdiff txe. Let's see whether it's saved correctly or not. Mm, it saves as a desktop level. Okay, let me do. Let me save inside the folder at this time. make as a fourth line and 
this will save let's see whether it's saved or not it shows it created fourth file and I can see the correct line so the everything is correct now and it is properly compared so in this tutorial we saw how to use kdiff3 file to compare the more than two files also we saw how to use the comparison for the directories and we also saw how to merge the record i hope this simple tool will help you in your day-to-day -day activities and i would recommend you should have this kind of tools for the daily activities for your development work thank you for watching my video and have a nice time